Greetings, Keisha Lanes. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of My Hero Academia, Chapter 294. Okay, last chapter, it, we got a little bit of a flashback to reveal how Mario got his quirk back. It was due to Eerie's training. She's been training over the last few months, which we find out it's been six months since he actually lost his quirk, so nice to know a time frame. Um, then, you know, Dobby is more on fire. Um, the, um, uh, Tomura, I believe woke up last chapter or woke up the chapter before. So he was able to give commands again, though, as we saw at the end of the chapter, yeah, uh, Giganto is, uh, finally going, he going night night. So, so luckily the mountain team's efforts were not in vain. So, uh, yeah. And the title for this one is Last Stage. Okay. Aw, there's Crust. I'm assuming it's like lingo for like uh, gamer stuff, right? Yeah, because uh, Tomer liked to use that. But, uh, what is cr Crust is supposed to be dead? Like, is that so? Let's see. Is that Aizawa there on that stretcher? And then there's, oh, Mirko. The anesthesia is uh, beginning to show effect. There's uh, Manuel and Lockrock, Gran Torino, and uh, what is the guy that can fold his body like paper? Why can't something edge? Um, then there's uh, Present Mike. This is undoubtedly not just some coincidence, and there's Hawks. Um, so many people, one after the other, and there's Mount Lady, and there's just a... Not sure who that is. And then there's Endeavor. All wore down this powerful beast, just enough for the drug to kick in. Yeah, because, like, obviously... Like, it wasn't going to take effect immediately. Nothing is instantaneous. But, like, with him, like, rampaging through cities, just, you know, constantly exerting himself, he was bound to just pump that anesthesia, like, through his body so much quicker. So he w kind of was his own undoing. But, uh... And there's uh, Deku falling to the ground, it looks like. I have faith a single strand may be thin, but brand or banded together, they may form a strong rope. This sounds like frickin' um, uh, shit. My brain is just not working today. Sorry, I've had a headache and it's just kind of like messing with my focus a little bit. Um, I'll think of it. I'm literally looking right at him. Why my brain? I swear I have problems. I I don't even know. Um, best genus. There we go. Had even one strand. So it yeah. It all he makes those kinds of punny references. Had even one strand had been flimsy, then this wouldn't have even been possible. I have faith. And there he is. He's still holding down Giganto even though he's asleep. But to be honest, I do not blame him. Um, we don't know how long he'll be out. So uh, there's uh, Shoto. And Dobby looks like he is he burning pretty good there. Just a bit more. What, 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 what are you doing? What is that? Oh, that, that's a uh, Nomo. I didn't know what that was. I'm not... but, okay, that that's Mirio. It's hard to tell sometimes. I kind of like this Nomo's design. Like, I like, like, rocky, like, exteriors and stuff. Like, I don't know what kind of cork this Nomo has. I assume some kind of, like, earth, like, you know, just, like, earth generation. Yeah. Mm, excuse me, ground manipulation, something. Oh, that might be the case because it looks like a big old like earth wave. Oh, but what? What just happened? 
Are you just doing a pose? What? This guy might be a, a problem for the heroes over there. His movements are simple, but his speed and tenacity are no joke. Okay, so Mario's just kind of tagging him on. So, what the hell is going on? I guess that's that dude fighting, or is that something? Is that done their Nomu? Each one of these guys is probably just as strong as the Nomu from uh, Kyushu. Uh, you can't just take them down that easily. You're no match for them when you're. Or, Great Explosion Murder God, Dynamite. I love that his name is Dynamite. Like, even the freaking official translation changed it. It was just Dynamite, as in, like, the the item. And then, like, a few hours later, they changed it to the fan translation version. So it was like, either Horikoshi actually intended it to be more like that, and maybe they got a hold, he maybe got a hold of Viz and everything. But then, um, or maybe they realized, like, the fan translation was so much cooler and meaningful. <laughs> um, but anyway, Dynamite, you're no match for them when your body can't even take a chumble. Okay, and it even made a mention of the official name being changed. <laughs> um, phew, up. Damn it, I can't even manage to say anything back. Whatever. Just make sure we get in the villains, uh, or get in the villains' ways to Genus. Uh, I love that Bakugo is trying to protect essentially what would be like his mentor in a way. My focus that has been used to subdue the giant can finally be directed towards the League. Oh, so Best Genus is actually going to be changing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Mr. Compress is there. The restraints are so tight, I can't touch the cables. I can't use my compress without touching the object. In this situation, the only thing I can grab is my own butt. I mean, could... Hmm... Could he compress himself and then because it's him, he can uncompress himself without having to touch anything? That would actually be kind of cool. And if not, that is a perfect evolution for his power or just being able to compress things at will without needing physical contact would also be the next step but let's do baby steps not go super overpowered because otherwise he would just collectively just like sweep the area and it's like compressed you all welcome to marble world uh but anyway actually that's what he could call the attack like marble madness or some shit uh, in this situation, uh, oh wait, I read that, and Shigaraki's a limp noodle, oh, so he, that was probably when he, oh, I misremembered, that was when he ordered Giganto to start, like, moving again, once he arrived, but, you know, the anesthesia kicked in. Weren't you the one who called for us? You gathered us and told us to go wild, remember? You're suffering now, what am I to do? We're completely trapped, and you still haven't managed to destroy a darn thing yet. It's just as Spinner says, no one here, not Dobby, not Toga-chan, nor even I, have yet achieved our dreams. Is it, yeah, Dobby's over there like burning, burning love. Toga's like running in some back alley or a house or something. And then, you know, of course... Mr. Compress is just there. What the hell? His hat's been knocked off. Okay. Asphyxiation. <laughs> what? Oh my god, don't tell me you're going to like choke them out. <laughs> Damn, genus. I mean, I guess it works. It's not like you're choking them to death. You're just choking them out, right? And good lord. Like, you can't really see it with his face, because he's always got that mask on, but freaking Spinner's face. Crap, is this it? Spinner! I, I really love the League. Oh god, some of these faces. No matter who it, it was, one's past never gets into question. We were just a group of deviants. This was quite the unruly bunch. The boss is the key! 
Good lord. He looks like a freaking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 80s villain <laughs> right now. I mean, I guess Spinner always has, but still. Watch the timing. Or match the timing with the Nomu's uh, poising to give ourselves some distance. On the count of five, wake the boss. How are you going to wake the boss? I'll need some volunteers for this next act. Wait, oh. Oh, so he is shrinking him, or not shrinking, but like going to compress himself because he's touching his own butt. My dream, my calling, the reason I'm here. So uh, let's see here. I'll I'll care out a I'll care out a piece of my. I think that's supposed to say tear, <clears throat> but they literally wrote care. I'll tear out a piece of my own body to give my arm room to move. Ooh. Okay. Well, I mean, you already have robotic arms, so... And when I can move my arm, and he's compressing both uh, Tomra and Spinner. Gotcha. Looks like it's my turn for a badass moment. And Mirio's, like, looking at him. Right, let's make this, and what what is going on? Is he jumping? Good lord, he is more athletic than I would have given him credit for. Um, my greatest escape. Well, he's always kind of been a magician in a way, so that, that kind of makes sense. But he's like jumping up the uh, Giganto, I believe. Because there ain't like nothing else around, so that has to be Giganto's body. It looks like just random rocks. But, uh, he's hauling his own ass. However, that injury is fatal. You can't run for long. Clothing detainment. But even if he tries to re er, retain, <clears throat> restrain me, as long as my hand is free. Uh, there's a note here. Uh, Genus actually says he shaved a part of his own body. However, ah, hmm. yeah, that's like totally different. So why didn't you just use that as the line then? I can break free before that happens. Ah, oh, hey, who's that? Oh, that's uh, that's a uh, skeptic. You're fleeing, aren't you? Then get over here and save me too. Uh oh. Something snapped. Escape and deception are my only strengths. So I'll save the team from the crisis. How is his mask staying on, by the way? Oji Harima. The peerless thief. A burglar from a long time ago. We're getting Mr. Compress backstory. <laughs> uh. I mean, this is like, I think the only time we've ever gotten anything on him. So that's cool. So he was a thief. At the dawn of the current system, we know now. He targeted the greedy heroes who filled their bellies and redistributed their wealth to the people for rectification. So he was a Robin Hood? Okay. Uh, Atsuhiro, this is our lineage. To shine a light on corruption, that is the justice in the blood that flows through you. Toya! Flash fire first! Okay, so uh, I think Dobby just... I'm actually not really sure which one is doing it. I think they're both technically doing the flash fire fist at each other. Hmm. So I showed up. The situation's changed. Jet burn. Oh, so yeah, that was uh, Dobby then. I can't break Inji's, uh, Inji Todoroki's uh, little puppet while he's passed out. Poor Shoto. Sorry. Masterpiece. Come, Dobby. Harima, the rectification that you couldn't bring to fruition. 
will be left in the hands of my body or in the hands of my boss now okay I think he just compressed Dobby as well let me go back uh, yeah I'm pretty sure he that's probably what he just did because you know Dobby ain't in a good state as is and I I'm kind of thinking that like if, if you're compressed like it puts you in like a stasis so like you won't get any worse off injury wise like you won't bleed out if you're heavily wounded and stuff and like you maybe won't even feel pain so so that's like a cool way like if only he had a uh, you know like use that for good because he could be like the transport stasis hero you know if he had become like a, a hero instead of a thief but I mean if he's doing the Robin Hood thing then it makes sense that that he's not like the worst thief but then why would he align himself with villains hmm he must have saw like a a better ideal in them than he did you know but still it's a little sketch uh, but anyway I am the elusive Harima's great great grandson oh so that was your grandfather the thief you are not okay Shigaraki leader of the the PLF and the League of Villains the man with the blood of the king of thieves you'll change the world in my place you thought that I was just another background character I mean you don't really take a whole like one of your shining moments was like taking uh, like Bakugo hostage so it's like yeah you kind of are but oh his mask fell off we're about to get a uh, compression or compress uh, face reveal that was just another one of my tricks and the secret behind it is well I guess that can stay a secret because it doesn't really it doesn't really look that you know Also, he only had like the one, one mechanical hand. Why did I think he had both? Um, also, that is quite a chunk that he had like gotten taken from him. Um, a magician never reveals his secrets, but you just revealed your face. Escape artist, Mr. Compress. What? Once in a lifetime show. And that is the end of the time. Uh, yes, I see it there. Hmm. Well. Okay. Mr. Compress, a bit more of a badass than I think we came to realize. I mean, he has a unique ability that would lend itself to doing a lot of interesting things. And if he was kind of doing the whole magician thief thing... You know as apparently ancestrally inclined to be apparently um, like you know stealing stuff you just compress it and you have like hordes of all this stuff that you can just cram in your pockets and then just walk out of somewhere or you know really just messing with heroes by like you know just encapsulating them literally and you know but I'm still thinking that he could have been one hell of a hero like he could you know like say in this situation for instance if he was on the hero side like he could like if you're in a stasis when you're you know in his little uh, marbles it's like he could you know like say uh, Mirko for instance it's like because she's missing an arm she's bleeding heavily it's like and plus the other wound she sustained I think she broke a leg and has a, a, a quite a gashing on her side if I remember right and plus some other smaller wounds um, 
It's like he could encapsulate her, put her in stasis, and then, you know, like transport her to a hospital where she's not going to be as in much life-threatening, you know, danger there because she's getting medical treatment almost immediately instead of like having to wait and be bleeding out and, you know, all the other stuff while they're just transporting her. But in this case, it would be like, to it'd be like the clock was stopped, so to speak, which would be awesome. But, uh, yeah, he, he's the great, great grandson of a, of a thief. Okay. Because I, I was starting to think, it's like, how have we not heard about his thief background, if that was the case? But I guess that explains why he's a villain in the current day, because, like, I guess that whole, you know, Robin Hood ideology that he got from his great-great-grandfather be like, it might have gotten a little corrupted over time, you know? Um, not that he would have ever met the guy, but, you know, I'm sure stories of the family, if not the... They might have been viewed as villains, and then they became villains, maybe. Who knows? And then that whole lineage just kind of became more evil as time went by. Um, but then, uh, the face reveal? I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess more, I guess. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, like, so he's he seems to have encapsulated Dobby... And Spinner, so he's planning on getting them out of there. Um, so, I guess this fight is going to be over probably by the next couple chapters. Because, like, I mean, maybe he'll do Giganto as well if he can get over there. But then I'm wondering, how is he going to escape? He has, like, a massive wound that he self-inflicted on his side. So it's like... Yeah, I know. I don't know how you're gonna do that unless uh, unless Tomura can like do some kind of healing on him. Mister Compress might die not long after this arc concludes. Um, but yeah, like there's so many heroes that we've lost and some that are injured right now that like that's probably gonna be a big focus um, immediately following his escape if. He actually does escape. I would assume he will, because otherwise, what what would be the point of, you know, trapping, you know, two of his own allies, one of which being, like, the main villain of the whole series, essentially. So, uh, just to essentially say, like, we kind of won. <laughs> because, like, if as long as you keep him away from the little marble, <laughs> Tomura probably can't fucking escape. If not, he's in stasis and doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. And if they could get Giganto also in one of those, like, there's there's no villains left really to worry about, you know, on this grand of a scale that we're aware of anyway. So, unless, like, um, All for One, like, awakens something in Tomura and then he can, like, free himself from that. I, but I don't know why he would necessarily, like, um, do this unless he's going to escape, like I said, but if they were to just capture him and then he releases them, like, a short time afterwards, that kind of was pointless to encapsulate them in the first place, so, yeah, escape is likely what's going to happen, um, but he very well might, in his final moments, like, you know, he realizes, like, well, I'm about to die. I better free them. And it's like, there you go, boss. Spinner, take care of the boss for me. My time is done. I I do the, the grand act of the magician, the vanishing act. You know, and he just kind of, like, like covers his face or something, and then he dies. His life was the vanishing. Um, but I really have no idea. But yeah, there's like, all the characters are so injured and everything. And who was to even say that Best Genus was actually like, I think he's missing a lung <laughs> or something. So it's like, 
yeah, he's probably not in the best of health either, and he's, like, super straining himself, and we're still dealing with, like, some no moves, so, like, there's gonna be a fair bit of stuff, I imagine. Like I said, maybe two to three chapters or something left of this, and then we'll probably get to, like, a small transition arc where everyone's healing, we pay the respects to the fallen, but I think this arc is just about done, because, I mean, with Tomura seemingly not going to be, you know in the in the picture anymore um at least for the time being what else is there to do other than you know for you know healing uh paying respects and then a shit ton of training because this shows like how how much power is needed to take on such a threat as tomura now and presumably, he will be training too once he recuperates as well. Because um, he'll probably gain access to more of the abilities that um, All for One had. Maybe he'll somehow like unlock like that next like 25% of his development. But I'm not sure how that would actually happen, but it wouldn't surprise me. And, uh, of course, obviously, Deku would need to train as well, so he'll probably be training, you know, more on Black Whip, more on his float cork, um, obviously, he's going to do more, uh, one for all training as well, because, you know, that's far from being mastered, but will Eerie heal his arms? Not sure. We'll, we'll have to wait and see about that. But, uh, yeah, she very well might become very helpful in, like, healing some of these heroes. Like, I, I could see that happening. You know, she, if she can bring back a quark, who's to say she can't bring back an arm? So Mirko, for instance, she might be fine. If not, she gets a cool robotic arm, but otherwise she's, you know, healed. Um, so, yeah. And, obviously, she would probably want to help out her father figure, Aizawa, and you know, her brother figure Deku and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I, I could definitely see her playing a role in helping recuperate some of these characters. Um, but, yeah, I've rattled on long enough. Um, so uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Anything I miss, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet it out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings. Ugh. Stuff, I think, is finally winding down. After it's been so hyped for like a couple months now. <laughs> uh...